7.23 on Wednesday morning. I was doing great. And then I couldn't find my keys. They have fallen out of my purse somewhere. Great. So my husband told me to just use his keys for my car. That's somewhere at home because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make it home yesterday without keys so who knows what happened to them but today is a pre-clinic lab and we will be going over um, vital signs because we have a quiz on Thursday or Friday uh, on that and we have not gone over them yet so we have to <laughs> do it today or we're not going to be able to cover it on the quiz. Uh, and then we have uh, the SCOTA meeting, SCOTA meeting, and then we have uh, everyone who wants to stay to set up and break down, to practice setting up and breaking down the clinic operatories is uh, allowed to do that. So that's what is going on today. And then, um, I need to uh, also work on my radiology workbook pages. So they are not finished yet. So, but anyways, so hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you later today. Bye. Hey guys, it is 1.17. Wednesday afternoon, uh, we had the SCADA meeting and we talked about what our fundraising uh, is going to be. We sell Oral-B uh, toothbrushes and whitening strips and they're the really nice electric toothbrushes and the professional whitening strips. And uh, so they're like the $200 toothbrush, you know, kits. And, um, we sell them for $80, so I was like, oh wow, this is really cool. And the um, the money that we make from selling these gets put into an account to help us pay for our national board review. There is a seminar that comes into uh, the area every spring before boards are taken. Um, and we raise money so that uh, it will drastically require um, reduce or even um, pay for our board review because the boards themselves and um, the licensing fees and everything else is expensive enough we don't need to be paying for that uh, review which is almost as much as the board so um, and we talked about uh, a volunteer opportunity that we are going to be having and we need to start thinking about who our class representatives are going to be and we need to uh, sign up for um, we need to make sure that we have paid our student membership to the um, ADHA the American Dental Hygienist Association so it's really that was cool. We were able to, um, and then in uh, preclinical, we were split into two groups again because there's 16 of us and we only have eight operatories. So eight people stayed in the classroom and worked on taking vitals, um, so blood pressure, um, pulse rate, and respiration rate. And then we went and, and then the 
and the other half of the class was in the uh, clinic practicing the setup and breakdown. And the first time we did setup and breakdown, we they greatly shortened the procedure so we didn't get all of the things out of the drawers. So the, the gauze and all of the um, uh, plastic bags that go over some of the, the air and water uh, sprayer kind of gun thing and the suction devices, you know, we didn't get all of those things out that are kept in the drawers. So it was the first time that we actually got to see all of these devices and then also putting the, um, as a kid, I didn't realize that the little clear tube at the end of the little spray gun where they would spray the water in your mouth is disposable because it goes into your mouth and so they have to be able to sterilize it. So all of those uh, tips, you know, the, you have to put those tips into the metal head of the air and water um, gun and the and then the little suction tube that goes into your mouth that's disposable as well that is something that you have to put you know at the end of the um, you know it's as a, a patient when you go in it's all sitting there and it's covered and everything so in my mind I just figured that that those tips are you know always there and you just cover it with the little um, plastic thing and you know that's what makes it safe well duh the plastic you stick the two the uh the heads go through that plastic because the plastic is just to cover the actual hand piece that you hold so yeah it was I had never you know as a child and you know until I really started looking into this stuff I didn't realize how many of these things I mean are you have to set them out and you know you can't go into the drawers where all of these sterile things are kept with you know un you can't go in there without gloves on so you have to have gloves on and you have to make sure that those gloves are um sanitary they cannot be you can't touch dirty things and then go into that drawer because all of those items are um sterile so you have to make sure that your gloves are completely clean before you go into those drawers. So it was very, it was nice because I was like, yay, I was able to actually go in and get all of the things because you're reading it on a piece of paper and it sounds, um, one of, they called it a low speed saliva ejector. I was like, what in the world? That's the suction. That is the suction tip. I was like, oh. <laughs> when I figured it out, I was like, oh, okay. Well, that, all right. There we go. Ta-da. Um, it just, it, I, reading it on paper and matching it with the item, it didn't make sense to me. So, uh, that was, it was really kind of an eye-opening kind of thing, like, yay, I, now I know what they're talking about, so when I go through this, because they told us to read through the procedures at home and visualize everything, well, I couldn't visualize doing, you know, getting those things out of the drawer, because I didn't even know what those things were by their name, like, I knew what they were by sight, but I didn't know that that was the official name for it, I'm like, really? Oh, okay. Um... So yeah, it was really fun uh, to actually do an entire setup and breakdown, take everything out of the drawers. Um, really, sorry about that. My husband called and apparently the video got cut short. Uh, so uh, anyways, setting up and breaking down, it was really nice to do that, to go ahead and see where everything was, how long it's going to, t you know, how long it took to do all of that. I think most of the time that it takes to do all of those things is because you are having to read the, because you don't remember what comes next. So you're having to read in there. Okay, so I do this, then I do this, then I do that. And then you're thinking, okay, so 
where is that? And then you have to find where it is. And so I think that because they want us to have it, our setup and breakdown procedures to be, you know, about 30 minutes. And it takes us longer than that right now. And so uh, we're kind of, one of the main things is, you know, now I know where everything is. So I can go ahead and uh, just start visualizing and reading through the guideline, the uh, procedures over and over and over again and visualizing in my mind. Okay, so I would go here, grab that, make sure I do this, make sure I do that, that sort of, that sort of thing. So it's exciting. I am glad that we were able to do that. We were able to take blood pressure and um, pulse rates and uh, my particular blood pressure cuff the um so of course you know you've got to make sure that the um there's a little valve that allows you know that you close to make sure that when you hit the bulb uh squeeze the bulb it you know pressurizes and the pressure stays in there well that little knob that you turn to either uh close the valve or you know open it it will tighten to be all the way open and it'll tighten to be all the way closed. And so I was tightening it thinking that it was all the way closed. And no, I was so, and I, when I was hitting, when I was squeezing the bulb, the air would not stay and it wouldn't stay pressurized. I'm like, what is wrong with this thing? I used it at home and practiced and now it's like broken, it's not working. And I, um, so I was like, I wonder afterwards and I turned it the other way and I was like, oh my gosh, and now it works. So that was kind of funny. My class was like, oh, you know, they were kind of laughing. I mean, we all have different brands and different things like that. So theirs did not have that, you know, where it would tighten all the way open and tighten all the way closed. So it was just kind of a, a funny thing that, that happened. And, you know, one of the reasons why we practice this so many times on each other and at home and, you know, so that way you can make sure that you know how your equipment works so that you don't have this like, oh my gosh, it's broken in the middle of a clinic when you're working with a patient. So it was, it was fun. It was kind of embarrassing to me, but it was cool too. So, uh, I will, so tomorrow we have a radiology lab at 10 o'clock and, um, my goal is to get there early and start, you know, go over some things so we will see what happens. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Hey guys, it's Thursday morning. I'm on my way to school. And uh, I guess as you guys can see, no makeup today. I am just really tired. So, and just wanted to get to school, so. <laughs> But no makeup for me today. Um, it's radiology lab. And then um, I will, might stay at school for a little bit and try and work on some things and then I will be on my way home. Today we are supposed to finish um, our first uh, full mouth series of radiographs. So we did the periapicals. So it's the, uh, you do the, it's a vertical picture of your uh, anterior teeth. So these teeth right here in front. Um, and I did the uh, maxillary periapicals last week on Thursday. And so today we will be doing the, um, the, we'll finish the rest of the periapicals um, and then we will do uh, so we'll do the anterior peri periapicals and then we'll do the um, four um, wait, two, four, six, eight posterior periapicals and then we'll end with uh, four bite wings. So we've got a lot of x-rays to take today and it'll give us a chance to, so we'll finish 
Um, that'll be our first full moth series, and then we will be doing a um, our first. Oh, what's it called? Critique. That's what it's called. A um, we'll be doing our first critique on the whole series. So it shall be interesting. So uh, I'll tell you guys how it goes. Talk to you after class. begging help from my uh, classmates when I get to school to help put my hair up. But uh, anyways, um, we are, so one of my cousins plays volleyball uh, for her college and they're going to be um, traveling to a game in, or several games in Kansas. So my parents said, hey, um, do you want to go travel up to Kansas and see your cousin play volleyball? So, uh, we're going to do that. And, uh, so we're carpooling and everything. And, um, so my husband is driving me to school today. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so that's why I'm, uh, not driving this morning. Um, so he's dropping me off and picking me up at school. That way we can go pick up my parents and carpool all to um, the volleyball game. So I did not vlog yesterday afternoon. I was on the phone the whole way uh, home. And when I got home, I just completely forgot about it. And um, I did have a, a vision therapy appointment yesterday. And that went really well. Um, I kind of talked to them about some problems I was having um, in school, uh, different things, and asked them if that, you know, if there were some exercises we could do to help me with it, and um, that my therapist is going to talk to the doctor and just, you know, see and make sure um, she thinks there are some, and she's going to put them together so I can work on them next time, which would be pretty cool. So... Um, the today is preclinic lab, preclinical lab, and we're going to be working one last time on setting up and breaking down the operatories. And we're going to be working on, um, oh, and we might discuss a little bit. We had a, a quiz, an online quiz yesterday um, that was due like midnight last night, and I got one question wrong so it was I got a they were each question was worth like 6.66 points or something like that so I got like a 93 something like that. so um but uh yeah so got that's a good grade and um the one question I missed I just read the answer wrong so that was unfortunate but I will never forget it again. So, yay. <laughs> Isn't that the point of learning? Yeah, that, that is the point of, of quizzes and learning and, you know, yes, thanks for that, babe. <laughs> so, um, oh, and uh, just kind of a recap of what happened yesterday. I had radiology um, lab. We finished our first um, FM, uh, well, okay, so, there's lots of ways you could say it. So it's a full mouth series. Um, and, or, you know, full mouth x-rays. So full mouth series is FMS. And then you'll hear FMX, which is full mouth x-rays. And then you'll also hear uh, CMS, which is complete mouth series. So all of my teachers say all of them. So <laughs> I will, I don't know, I might stop in the middle of saying but yeah, an FMS or an FMX or a CMS, they're all exactly the same thing, uh, which means I did my first, it was my first time using, oh man, this is going to be really bumpy. 
uh, with my... I asked you if you wanted the mount. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, it's going to be my... So, I did periapicals, um, anterior and posterior. So, it was my first time doing the posterior periapicals, which is much more difficult than what you would think. I mean, with the... They have you start with bite wings in x-rays, and there's a reason for that. They are the easiest uh, to, to, you know, learn how to do. And holy moly, man, there's a big difference between what you're looking for in bite wings, which is your, uh, the main point of doing a bite wing x-ray um, is to look for different uh, caries. So any kind of, um, I just forgot that word. What is caries? Caries are um, cavities. That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> Jiminy cricket pants. Okay, so it was um, so cavities, uh, and they normally are between your teeth. So you, you know, you bite down on it, and it shows both your upper and lower teeth, and it shows the inside of it, uh, you know, in between all of the teeth, so you can look for cavities. That's the main point of doing bite wings. The main point of doing periapicals is to look at the roots of your teeth to see if there is any kind of, you know, bone decay or anything going on with your, um, with the roots of your teeth. So, um, it, and it also helps with children, you know, making sure that they're, um, you know, you can tell then when their next teeth are coming in and that everything is growing right and all of those sorts of things. So it's going to be very, um, you have to make sure when you're doing a periapical that you get all of the root. So you really have to push those sensors, you know, up and, you know, up to the roof of their mouth and then down, um, you know, next to their tongue. And when you're working with Dexter, you can't tell him to move his tongue to the side. So you're trying to close his mouth and to hold his tongue out of the way so you can put the sensor in and, you know, it's... It's a pain, but um, so but it's learning experience and it's really really fun. The main um, I'll be really happy if I can. Everybody had the exact same errors. We all had um, you know, missing um, missing apices, so that's the the like tips of the roots of the teeth. And then um, not all of not all of the pictures were missing that, but you know some of them were. Especially if the uh, Dexter had really long roots in that area. And then there's also um, overlapping contacts, which is where when you you don't quite have the x-ray beam completely parallel to the curvature of the, the mouth. Because, you know, the teeth make a, you know, a horseshoe like this. And so if you don't have the picture, the x-ray beam exactly parallel with the angle of those teeth, then the teeth look like they're overlapping on an x-ray. They're all bunched up over each other. So, and all of us had those problems too. So it'll be really fun when I can finally do a, uh, an x-ray and not have any overlapping contacts or missing apices. And, but it was our very first full mouth series. We finished yesterday and we did critiques on them and turned them in. So, uh, you know, obviously this is the first time we've done the whole thing and then it's just gonna get better from there. So, yep, we, today is, uh, again, just preclinical and I will talk to you guys